In this video, we're going to show you how to install Windows 11 in Oracle VirtualBox. We did a video on this earlier with a pre-release version of Windows 11, but now that the final version is out, we're going to try it again, and we're going to show you what happens because it's kind of different now. So as of now, uh, VirtualBox, I'll show you what version we got going here. So 6.1.3 does not have TPM support. So when you install Windows 11, you can't add a TPM uh, trusted platform module to it. So on Windows, or actually VMware Workstation, you can. So I have this VMware Workstation Windows 11 computer here. If I go to Settings, I have my trusted platform module, and you could add that, but you can't do that in uh, VirtualBox. So anyways, okay, so we're going to go through the process here and see what happens and how we're going to get around it. So you either click on New here or go to Machine and New. Call this Windows 11 Home. Uh, put it in the VirtualBox VMs folder. You can put it wherever you like. Type Microsoft Windows, and now you'll see that VirtualBox has a Windows 11 option, which they didn't have before. We'll give this about 8 gigs of RAM. We'll create a virtual disk, and we'll click on Create. So here's where it's going to put it, VirtualBox VMs, Windows 11 Home folder that it made. And the virtual disk is called Windows 11 Home VDI. It wants to make it 80 gigs. I'm going to drop it down to 50 just because it's, it's a test. We're going to keep it as a VDI VirtualBox disk image because we're only going to use this in VirtualBox. And we're going to keep it dynamically allocated because if you make it fixed, it'll make a 50 gig a disk file whether you're using 50 gigs or not. This way, if you leave it dynamic, it'll kind of grow as... You add files to your VM and so on. Okay, so we'll click on Create. Okay, so now we're going to go into the settings for this VM and go to Storage, and we have our virtual disk file, and here's our virtual DVD drive, and so right now there's nothing attached to it. So we're going to go to a little drop down here, choose a disk file, and I already have this in my recent files, so I'm just going to pick this. Otherwise, you'd browse to your ISO file for your uh, Windows 11 disk image and click OK. OK, then we'll just click on the Start button here. Okay, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. OK, you can see we have our Windows 10 looking uh, setup window here. So if your language looks right, just click on Next and click on Install Now. This is where you go to do any like uh, Windows recovery options. FYI, if you ever needed to fix your computer. So Install Now. Okay, we don't have a product key, so you could still install without a product key. Okay, then you pick your edition. So we're going to go, you know, you have Home and Pro, Education. We're just going to stick with Home. Click on Next. Okay, so now we run into this error. The PC can't run Windows 11. So this tells us that this newer version of a Windows release is not going to run a virtual box until they fix this TPM problem. So you could still install the old one. So we could try the old uh, workaround here. By getting out of here. And we'll try the Shift F10 to get to a command prompt. Okay, so at the command prompt, you want to type in regedit. Okay, so I have my little cheat sheet here. Okay, so we want to find H key local machine system setup. Okay. Right click on the setup key, we're going to do a new key and label it lab config. Let's see if copy and paste will work here. Nope. Make sure we spelled that right. Okay. And then we want to right click on this blank area and do a new D word value. Call this bypass RAM check. Okay, we got that. And then we do the same thing for bypass secure boot check and bypass TPM check. Okay. 
finally bypass TPM check. Okay, so we have our, our new key and our three new D word values here. Now for each one of those, we've got to type in one for its data. So we just simply double click it, change it from zero to one. Okay, so now we have all of our settings there, so we can close this out, exit the command prompt, click on install now, see what happens this time. Okay, don't have a product key, Windows 11 Home, accept the agreement, uh, I always like to do custom and then pick the drive there. Okay, so now it's doing the typical copying files, which you'll see, you know, looks, looks exactly the same as it does for Windows 10. So who knows if they'll upgrade the look of this or not, if they're just going to leave it as is. So we'll let this run, then we'll be back. Okay, so now we're done installing. We're going to reboot. Okay, so now we're at the uh, initial startup here. We're going to put in our options. So startup country, yes. Keyboard layout, US, yes. Do not want a second keyboard layout. I'm going to check for some updates again. Okay, so now it wants to name our computer here, so we'll just call this Win 11 dash PC. Nice and simple. Skip it if you don't want to do it right now. Okay, so after another reboot and some waiting, it's time to add the Microsoft account. So I've been pausing the video so you don't have to sit here watching things spin like I do. Okay, so once your Microsoft account, so if you don't have one, you could create one um, after you inspect get Windows installed with your Microsoft account, you could add a, a local account and then remove your Microsoft account if you like. We have a video on how to add a local account in Windows 11 if you want to check that out. So I'm going to use my test account here that I always use. Okay, so now we're going to wait again for some other stuff to happen. Okay, so now it's going to want the Windows Hello pin so you don't have to use a password to log in. Uh, you could remove this as well once you put it in. We have a video on that as well. You want to check that out if you're having trouble removing it. They really seem to be pushing for this pin thing here. Okay, so now it's found another computer that I have here that it wants to restore from another device if I, uh, if I wish to do so, or I could choose set up as a new device, which is what I'm going to do here. And if you have another device that's not listed here, you could have to see if it finds it there. Okay, privacy settings, it's up to you, but I always turn this off because Microsoft doesn't need to know anything else about me that they don't already know. Okay, so this is kind of an optional thing of, you know, what you're going to use your computer for. You could do this if you want, but I'm just going to skip it for the sake of time. Okay, so now we got OneDrive. And so if you don't want to use OneDrive, to back up your files, to have it sync, you could click only save files to this PC, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, we don't want to try Office. Okay, 
don't need this game pass. It's like every time they update this installation, there's more and more stuff they're trying to get you to buy or sign up for. It's turning into one big advertisement. Okay, so we're rebooting again, or actually not rebooting, but we're doing the uh, uh, configuration process, which you might might look familiar from uh, Windows 10 when you do a new uh, setup. So even after you install Windows and you add a new user and you reboot, it's gonna you're gonna have to go through this process for each new user. So it's configuring the profile and setting up your desktop and that kind of thing. Okay, so now we have our Windows 11 desktop with our new start menu, new taskbar, and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess from there you'd want to install your uh, guest add-ons. So we have all our menu items here, you know, see so your drives, audio, network, you get your settings, USB, and then down here under devices you can insert the guest additions CD here and then go ahead and install it like you would any other VM, just so you kind of get your, improve your functionality of your mouse movements and your display adapter and all that other good stuff. So I'm sure you know how to do that if you've used VirtualBox already, so we won't go through that. But anyway, so... Yeah, I'll put the um, little cheat sheet for the uh, registry edit in the description. So if you're trying to install VirtualBox, or I should say Windows 11 in VirtualBox, and it still hasn't been updated for TPM support, and you could just do this registry hack here and then get it working until, until Oracle decides to get their act together and uh, include the TPM support in their software. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.